Hello, folks, and welcome to another edition of Gamer Logic. I am Mike Murtis, and today I am playing a game I have not played in years, and this is Sheehan's Revenge on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, released in 1994. Now, the first time I saw this game was in a 94 issue, a 1994 issue, of Nintendo Power Magazine. And I think it was a two- or four-page spread, and the game seemed extremely interesting to me, not just because it's a ninja game, I love ninjas, but because instead of using a light gun or just the regular controller, you could actually use the Super Nintendo Entertainment System mouse that came with Mario Paint to block attacks, to throw ninja stars, to swipe with your blade. So I thought that was pretty cool, and I think at the time when I rented it, I did not have a Super Nintendo mouse to actually try it on, unfortunately. I only had the original controller. So, yeah, uh, it was still pretty fun. I had a lot of fun with it, but I did not have the mouse. But that's all changed, and now that I have a copy of this game again, I can actually try it with a Super Nintendo Entertainment System mouse, because I have one right here beside me. And I picked this game up, actually, at Press Start Games in Appleton, Wisconsin. I had a work trip up there and stopped at the store and they had a bunch of stuff but this one was on my most wanted list so it was very cool to be able to pick this up complete and in box so let's get right into it i am playing this on an actual super nintendo entertainment system i attempted to play it on a retron 5 and i think the mouse emulation on it is a little janky so we're going to try it on actual hardware here and see if it's any better, and see if I can get any further than I could when I was doing my initial testing here. So just a little explanation on gameplay when you're using the mouse. Scrolling a mouse obviously moves your hand across the battlefield, Left mouse button throws your ninja stars, and right will unleash a super duper ninja scroll magic attack that will eliminate all enemies on screen or do some damage to some bosses. And I can actually deflect some attacks here, so check that out. I was actually able to block that, which was cool. And I will tell you right off the bat that the emulation for the Retron 5 for the mouse doesn't seem too good because I was having issues going from left to right with it. This seems way better, way more accurate as an input device on the original hardware. Not that big of a surprise, I guess. Going to the next part here, apparently through the woods. Guy's got some health. No. Gotta wonder if anyone's done a laser mod for the Super NES mouse. It just tracks so much better. I mean, this isn't bad, but this is the old school 90s wheel and ball mouse here. Got my health back, which is awesome. Kicking the crap out of some ninjas. Take that, too. Gotta admit, it's fun just slashing enemies with the mouse. Yeah. Now this is playable on the control pad, uh, and I actually was able to get to the second stage using the control pad, so you get used to it, it just doesn't feel as intuitive as it does with the mouse here. Ah! I don't think we got too many mouse-supported games here in North America. And you get these little cutscenes, which are cool. So I'm fighting the first boss here. Sawtooth. Uh, 
There we go. Ah! Gotcha. He almost got me, though. Down you go. So if you were to play this game, my recommendation would be to try to play it on the original hardware. Uh, Retron 5 just wasn't cutting it for the mouse controls. It was cutting it for the regular control pad. But if you want the true mouse experience, you're going to have to get a Super Nintendo, the cartridge, and then the actual SNES mouse. Um, obviously, on Super Nintendo emulators, you can actually use a normal mouse for mouse emulation, so I'm sure that would be pretty smooth if you wanted to give that a try as well. And now we are jumping in our Magic Ninja time travel machine, otherwise known as the Time Gate. Hey, look at that. That's a, there's a password feature for this game. You didn't see that too, too often on the Super Nintendo. Well, maybe with the games like Desert Strike, but at that point... Password systems were kind of disappearing. Manchuria. Churia. Makes me the Manchuria candidate. What's going on? Is that the boss? Need some health? Oh, ho, 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 sweet. We are back in business. This is a lot of fun. The music is good. The graphics are decent. It's just something very different on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And the fact that they use the mouse is pretty damn cool for an alternate style of control. Like I said, they could have easily just used... Uh, that's invincibility power, by the way. They could have just easily done this as a control pad game and been done with it, but no, they did the, uh, the mouse control to implement it, which is pretty cool. That means my invisibility is worn out. Another cool feature is, you know, these guys have not popped out of the water. You can actually shoot them before they get up, which is cool. More power. Sweet. I got full juice. I guess if you need a perfect example of what this game is, think of the uh, Throwing Star section in Shinobi. I bet you the designers just saw that and were like, you know what, we can make a full game out of that. Ah, uh, you're not eating me, you little bastards. Ah! What's next? Man, you gotta be super accurate with those. There we go. No, you don't. Not bite me. This ninja don't taste good. Ah, you got me. 
So there you go, folks. That is a quick look at Xian's Revenge on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Again, if you want the most accurate way to play it, then you should play it on a Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Original hardware, original mouse, original game works the best. Otherwise, emulating it with a PC, with a PC mouse, is probably the second best way to go. The Retron 5 just cannot handle the mouse emulation very well. I don't know if it's just for this particular game. I've never used Mario Paint on the Retron 5, but in terms of control, this is the way to go for this game. So thanks for watching another edition of GamerLogic, folks, and I hope to be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching.